Morning everyone, welcome back to Johnny Calls ZXR. Uh, yes, I've decided I'm going to try and get this back on the road for the summer. It's been off the road for well over a year. I think the MOT ran out in June, not this year, not last year, but the year before, which was 2017. So this bike hasn't been on the road since 2017, June, and it's been sat in my tin shed since then. Brakes have seized up, carburetors have all gummed up and I've stolen the uh, master brake cylinder off it. Uh, steel from Peter to pay Paul sort of thing. So I've got to put that back on, I've got to sort the brakes out and I've got to sort the carburetors out. Got to give it a damn good clean and uh, take it for its MOT. Can you see me? Am I in there? Yep, you can see my head. I have to stand like this. So yes, I want to get this back on the road before the end of the summer so I can have a couple of rides on it. And then I might probably sell it. Hopefully I'll get about uh, £60,000 for it. Yeah, then I'll wake up and I'll get about £1,000 for it if I'm lucky. Uh, hopefully I'll get a couple of hundred, over a thousand, so twelve hundred I'm hoping for, but at least have to see what happens in the future, won't we? So, i keep staying up, can you see me? <coughs> yep, let me sit down there, can you see me then? Yeah, that's better. It's damn bloody hot as well. Let me tell you, it is really hot. So anyway, Without further ado, you know what I'm going to say. Oh, I've got sweat in my eyes. You didn't know I was going to say that, did you? Let's get on with it. So yes, like you can see, I've got mould on the pipes. Brake calipers are all seized up, so I've taken them off. Uh, back tyre is flat. Uh, absolutely covered in dust. Disgusting. So, uh, yes. This ought to keep me going for uh, three or four videos. So, where do we start first? I suppose I'd best to start with the brakes. So let's get the brakes done. So yes, I suppose the first job will be to get this master cylinder back on. So I take the bolt out there, leave that washer on there, bring the pipe up. bolt on there, screw the bolt back in, I'll tell you what size the bolt is in a minute when I get the spanner, I think it's a 12 mil, just leave it dangling, or I'll get a spanner, I think that's a 12 mil, yes it's a 12 mil, On there, make sure the cables, the cable, <laughs> cable. Let's make sure the uh, pipe is in the right position. We could tighten it up. Should do. Don't need to go too tight. Now I've got to go and find one of these backing brackets to fix it on. Must have one somewhere. Uh, it's, this, it's not the uh, one that runs level. So the screws are sort of zigzagged, zigzags out of line. We've got one screw there and rather than one screw in a straight line it goes off to the right. So it's 
see if we can find one of them. Just to stay there for a minute. Take you off while I go and look for one. Okay then, so is that a better view? We need uh, one of these, the right way up. Two screws, put one in for now. Get your Allen key ready. Lift the brake lever up. Put your first screw in. Get the other brand new screw. Brand new screw, bolt, whatever you want to call it. Screw it in. Well, there always has to be somebody building something. I don't know why I'm trying to make a video. Don't have to tighten them up too much. Should be fine. So now we've got to get some brake fluid in it and uh, try and pump the pistons out so we can clean them. Okay, before we uh, fill the brake reservoir up, let's cover the tank. Should do that. And uh, under the top screws, on mine it's Allen Keys. But I was the last one in these a couple of years ago, so hopefully I put grease on them. We'll see, find out, won't we, if they don't undo. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So, as you can see, definitely pays to put grease on these bolts. Still wet with grease. That is after two years. Or maybe more. Let's get the screws out. Take the top off carefully. the uh, diaphragm out. Uh, it is pretty empty. So, put them somewhere safe. Just there is a fair bit of crud in there so I'll have to clean that out. Let's bring you in. Okay, so you can probably see lots of uh, dirty bits in there. So we'll have to give that a good clean out. I'll just use some tissue a very thin screwdriver. Take you out a bit. It's a bit better. So we just fill the reservoir up with our top quality Wilco brake fluid. And as always, put the diaphragm back on because it normally squirts back up when you release the brake. So now we've got to try and pump that through down to the brake calipers. Oh, I forgot what it was then. Okay then. So let's get a bit of light. There's the uh, brake nipple. Let's try and crack that open. I've got them off. Just hold it in with a dr drill bit. Because like I say they were well seized up so I had to take them off. So let's try and undo the brake nipple with a 10mm spanner. torch up somewhere. And uh, let's 
to go for it. Let's try and uh, slacken off the nipple. Wasn't too bad. Anything's going to drip out. Yes, it's running through. Hold on, before I do that, probably be better to take the brake pads out, wouldn't it? So let's get the brake pads out. Pull the drill bit out. Uh, there's this little plate with the little tiny screws on. Hopefully I've greased those as well and they come undone easy enough. Yep. Well that one's coming undone with no drama. Let's try the other one. I can get it in the hole. seem to want to fit in. That's it. That one seems a bit tight. Make sure it's all the way in. This one's not going to work. Oh yes it is. Come on. Out you come. That's one. That's two. Just lift the plate off. Uh, there should be a hole clip in there. But I can't see it. Oh, it's this side. Look, it's on the wrong side, you dickhead. There, look, little R clip. You can't see, can you? If you could see it there. There's a little R clip inside there. You just stuck something into the eye. It should just pull out. And there it is. The little R clip. Should be able to get this bar through there. Like so, and then just take the pads out nice and safely. And we need to pump these pistons through so we can give them a good soapy bath clean. Okay then, so we've got our brake pipe on, got our brake pads out, so let's uh, give the brake lever a few pumps and then see if we can get some air coming through. Sorry if you can hear the noise in the background but I have got a fan on because uh, it's preventing me from passing out because it is that warm. So if you could hear a noise in the background, you'll have to live with it I'm afraid. I'm sure you've heard worse, like next door building a house. 
Okay, let's uh, do the dipple. Give the brake lever a short press. Tighten my uh, brake nipple up again. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Which way is starting? Okay, they're all well, are they? Give it a few more pumps. Slacking it off again. A few more pumps. Make sure the pistons aren't moving. So if one of them pops out then you've uh, start all over again. The freak is moving. Okay, so uh, too busy around the other side, concentrating on the other side. Uh, filled the reservoir up, which immediately emptied, which got me thinking, uh oh, so much gone wrong. So I've come round to this side and uh, one of the pistons has popped out. What a stupid mistake. I should have checked this side, shouldn't I? So that means now I've got to take the calipers completely apart to get it back in. So let's do that, shall we? Are you licking my lens? <laughs> Stop licking my lens, you little licker. Yes, it is hot, isn't it? Too bloody hot. You at your dindins? Good girl. Oh, I'll show you in a minute how hot it is. Let me just show you how hot it is out there and in here. On our temperature clock. I know it's a bit white out here, but you can probably see it. Don't know if you can see it. Just try and darken it a bit. It's uh, 41 and a half, which according to that is 110 degrees. And it feels like it, I know. Even this one. It's never been up that high before. Never. It's at 31, 32. Oh my god. Yes, just been out on this for a ride. It's quite hot. My t-shirt was absolutely dripping wet when I tried to take it off. Cool, dear. I can't believe I let that pop out. How stupid can you get? Oh, dear me. So what? It's unbelievable. I've sprung a leak everywhere. Everywhere's leaking on my body. Yesterday it says on the temperature clock, 42. <laughs> it felt like 42, but I don't think that was quite right. So anyway, yep, that'll be it for this video. Uh, next video will be part two, we'll carry on with the break. I think it's gone on for long enough. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, as much as I didn't. and. Uh, if you've got any feedback to give me on this bike, just, uh, you know, comment or whatever in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, if you like the videos on the channel, please subscribe, you know. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, 
I'm creeping up to a thousand subscribers so once I get to the thousand subscribers I'll get 80 pound no 89 pound every year for doing this I think it's every year I think you get a pound for every thousand views on your videos one pound and that's due to the ads so when I get a thousand subscribers my channel will start having you know add it when you first switch it on there'll be an ad but you know it's not too bad is it so anyway yep thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two now I'm off to get a nice glass of cold orange ice cold see ya I'll see you in another life, brother.